Welcome back. In this demonstration, we're going to be talking about the um, Sumier Orchid Flower composition. We've already made one in black and white, um, and we talked about the um, elegant curving lines coming up and down to form the leaves of the orchid flower. We talked about the way that you delicately have to do these flower petals um, and uh, connect them to the stem. And likewise, um, we talked about the different values, having light values of ink, medium values, and then darker, and even the blackest black down here. Um, if you want, while you make this, you can use the packet in my class. Um, I'll have the same packet that I had out while you were doing the orchid flower in black and white. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to make the orchid flower in um, color. So as we talked in about Sumia painting, they usually uh, did lots of things in black and white, but then again, they also did end up using color as, as things progressed and as things moved along. So I'm going to get started um, by using some of this light yellowish green, and I'm going to add this into my palette, all right? And I'm also going to then um, keep my brush clean and get a little bit of the pure, you know, just like normal green and you can kind of see the difference in hue there between the two all right and then as we go through when i need to i'll probably make a darker uh, shade of those um, and kind of work with those in essence of of changing the colors a little bit so here we go i'm going to get started with just the um the the, the orchid leaves um, making sure my brush is not too um wet and I'm going to start from the base down here and bring the flower up this way just like we did the last time and again starting in pressing down bringing up and turning that leaf down this way all right my first leaf my second leaf can add just a little bit of my regular green in um, and kind of get a mixture there and I'm going to do the I have, I have the Phoenix here coming up and bring that leaf down. So we've got the eye of the phoenix here. We've got the other um, long leaf there. Go back in and I'm gonna get some pure green um, so it's a little bit darker and I'm gonna start making some of the, the ones that are closer down here. Okay, just like the uh, bamboo leaf, kind of taking that. Okay, painting that one right off the side. I'm gonna go back and get some dark green um, and take some of these and overlap them up through the top here. And bring that one right over the front so it looks like there's a little bit of overlapping there. We've got the one overlapping behind, the one overlapping in front. I think I'll get a few more kind of off to the side here um, and put my orchid flower probably somewhere right in there as, as we go through. Um, so here. Okay, so we've got some variety of grasses there, or the orchid leaf um, leaves, and now we're gonna put in some of the orchid um, flower. And for the orchid flower, um, I'm going to choose this kind of magenta color because I know a lot of orchids happen to be that nice magenta color. There are all sorts of different orchids. There's, I mean, when I was looking them up and researching a little bit, um, there is many, 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 many different kinds of orchid flowers. So you could choose pretty much any color um, and not be, not be too far off in your, in your paint color. Um, I'm gonna uh, pull one right up here. I'm gonna try to put them here and then bend my stem straight back through here. So if I were to draw, uh, can't draw my stem. Uh, I've got my magenta on. So here we go. I'm going to draw the um, flowers. Remember, they're going to go straight in towards the center of where you want that leaf or you want the flower to be. Okay, and so there's my first flower going to draw another one kind of this way pointing pointing out to the side ok 
Okay, so there's one kind of pointing out that way. And then um, I'm going to pull one. kind of right behind there. And here we've got kind of, you know, our, our basic orchid um, petals, or sorry, orchid flower petals. Yeah, that's right, petals. And now we're gonna go in and get, get a little teeny bit of black and put it and mix it into this green that I've got here already. Get a little different um, kind of green for the stem. I'm gonna dry my brush off a little bit on the stem take it back to there alright so you can kind of see that um, pedal or uh, the, the little piece that the stem grows out of coming up there and that basically could conclude the the orchid flower demonstration in color I've got some varieties of green light green darker green but still light in value here's more high chroma green so that they're overlapping near the base and then I've got the um, orchid flowers up here overlapped underneath this one um, leaf with the stem in between. So um, if you choose to do the orchid flower for your final color composition, remember um, these few things, um, thick versus thin in the leaves. Um, this all has to do with the pressure, direction of the stroke, small curved petals, and the idea of the implied line or the continuation of idea in the um, leaves as well as in the flowers. And that's how you make the um, orchid flower in Sumier with color.